Hey all here OS Reviews, you're watching our video review of the Raizu X19. This is a digital MP3 player, and you guys may remember that a few days ago we did a review on the X50, also by Raizu. That version is a little bit cheaper, it also features Bluetooth, and most importantly has a clip which you can attach to a shirt for running and exercising outdoors, in the same style as the SanDisk clip. But what makes the X19 a little bit more premium uh, is it's going to be its construction quality. It's made entirely out of aluminum, metal, and tempered glass and it also has a built-in speaker on the back so you can blast out some music to share with friends and family even without connecting to an external speaker or wearing headphones which is actually pretty cool. It has the same 8 gigabyte version in the base model which retails for $30 so a little bit more expensive but also quite affordable and again mp3 players would uh, probably appeal to folks who want to exclusively listen to audio with battery life rated at over 30 hours on a single charge, and it's gonna be longer than most smartphones, especially with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cellular data turned on with the phones, batteries tend to drain a lot faster. So if you just wanna bring something a lot less expensive uh, when you know, exercising outside, then there's still a reason to pick up an MP3 player, and perhaps the X19 will be the best version yet that we've seen in the past few days. So in the packaging here, we just have a micro USB cable, which is used for charging. It takes about two hours to completely charge. We also have free headphones in the box, just like on the X50, and they are branded by Raizu once again, standard 3.5 millimeter plug, in addition to a instruction manual that is printed in black and white. So one downside of the X19, even though it a, has a better construction quality, um, is the fact that it doesn't have Bluetooth anymore. So if you want to connect this to wireless headphones or to wireless speakers, you're not gonna be able to find that with this particular model. But on first impressions, the build quality is indeed uh, much better than on the previous version, which was made entirely out of plastic. This thing again has tempered glass in the front. We have these chamfered edges on the sides, uh, and the entire body here is really made out of a solid block of aluminum. So it feels very sturdy. There's a speaker again on the back which blasts out a little bit of sound. This is again the X19, has some very basic branding information. There's also on the side here a micro SD card slot that can be expanded up to 128 gigabytes if you want to put in more storage. Micro USB for charging. There's a lanyard strap as well on the bottom. Very interestingly we have the headphone port located on the edge of the speaker which is probably not my favorite placement. The bottom and the top would probably work a little bit better if you put this in your pocket. Um, there's also a dedicated power switch that can also lock the display. Let's try turning this thing on and taking a closer look at the interface. So what we don't have on the X19, it looks like, is dedicated volume controls on the edges, which I really did like on the X50, which is a bit of a shame that it's not here. That means if you want to change the volume when you're listening to music, you probably have to go into the menus to find that, as opposed to just very quickly tapping on it if you have it in your pocket. Uh, regardless, the screen here measures 1.5 inches diagonally, and it's a simple LCD panel that's a uh, is an IPS, so viewing angles are still not going to be super strong, but it is color and can display basic album art information in addition to very quick video clips without too many problems. What's also new on the X19, since it has a glass surface, is it uses a capacitive touch-based system for navigation, uh, which feels a little bit more modern. Um, so we can tap left and right to go through the various features one by one. It's actually pretty responsive, and again, all the keys here are backlit, so you can see it in the dark without too many problems. So just like the X50, we have the time as well as the battery status in the top corners. And the first feature up here is actually uh, very interestingly going to be a voice recorder. So there's a microphone that you can use to do very quick voice memos. There's also a file manager, ebook, which is uh, essentially going to read text files. Um, not really an, a real ebook reader in my opinion, just because the, the screen is really small and there's not much formatting that it can do lines and text are often segmented as you can see here but if you want to load something up with quick address book information or memo information and then drag it over from a computer you can use it to take a quick look at notes and uh, this is what it looks like when you go left to right um, in terms of other things we can add bookmarks as well we can also uh, delete the file directly and we can tap them back to go into the main menu interface so next we can take a look at pictures. Again, the screen here isn't the largest or the most vibrant, but it does work if you want to store some quick photos uh, when on the go. And uh, this is what it looks like. Again, very similar to the X50 when it comes to the overall screen quality. And it's not a laminated panel, so there's a bit of a gap between the screen and the glass. But then again, I'm being quite nitpicky here considering this is really a budget audio player, um, really low cost at under $30 and mainly used again for playing back music. All right, so next we can take a quick look at the music interface. It's uh, again, quite, quite similar to what we saw before.
takeaway from the speaker quality is that it works all right, a little bit better than I was expecting since it gets a little louder than you would probably think from such a small unit. And uh, for casual music listening, it does actually produce fairly pleasing sounds in mids and highs, but it definitely distorts if you try to turn the volume up all the way, uh, especially if you're also expecting a lot of bass in the lower frequencies. It's not going to be a very powerful speaker, but sure, for sharing some quick music, it uh, suffices and it's a nice little built-in feature. Overall though, audio quality is definitely better if you plug in your own headphones and just like on the X50, it supports lossless audio uh, formats. So if you have some high-res audio tracks you want to load onto this player uh, and then hook it up to something like premium headphones or connect it to a DAC, it can actually sound very good. So you can definitely get a very clean and a crisp audio if you want to plug in headphones for music uh, listening and enjoyment. So let's go over to video and play back, uh, let's say, a, a quick sample here. And I'm just going to turn down the volume here, and you can see that it automatically goes into the horizontal view when it's playing back uh, a track. And uh, from here, you can see this is how the audio is visualized. You have to press down for it to work. If you have some very quick clips, they will play back without too many problems. But again, it's not the very uh, sharp display. And again, viewing angles are definitely limited. But if you only have something like this with you, I guess you can play back a few video clips, uh, again, without too many issues. You can also scrub along the video by skipping track by long holding here, and you can see that fast forwarding is actually pretty smooth, and uh, the processor seems to keep up without too many problems. So let's go back and uh, take a quick look at what other features are on board. There's also access to tools, and we have access to a basic stopwatch, an alarm, as well as a calendar. And on the X19, it actually makes a bit more sense just because uh, it has a built-in speaker. So if you set an alarm, such as uh, for it to ring at, let's say, 8 a.m., it can actually wake you up since there's a speaker on the back. So um, it's one area where it's a little bit stronger than on the X50, where you have to connect an external speaker to use the alarm uh, efficiently. There's also a basic calendar on here, in addition to, again, a stopwatch, very basic utility tools. In the main homepage, I can also lock the display, and this is what the animation looks like. And again, none of the keys or buttons will be functional now, especially since they're, since they're touch-based if it's in your pocket. I can tap on it once more to unlock it, and now all the buttons are functioning once more. And again, the overall UI is actually pretty intuitive, since the up, down, left, and right keys actually correspond to moving up, down, left, and right in this list format. And the center here just goes OK, and then back, as well as opening up advanced settings and menus. So the overall buttons and placement are pretty easy to understand. And the only slight downside is I find that the fact that they are touch sensitive can be a little bit difficult uh, if you uh, are wearing gloves or if you're, again, exercising outdoors and you want to press something very quickly. It's not quite as uh, fast in terms of responding sometimes as a real button, which gives you a tactile sensation. Uh, with this, it's a bit more delicate, maybe more suited for listening when you're sitting down. So thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews. That's been our hands-on review of the Raizu X19 Digital MP3 Player.